Hey everybody, it's Aaron and welcome back to the house of Aaron. <laughs> welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. I am super excited to be with you guys on this Wednesday afternoon. Y'all, I didn't know what the hell I was going to talk about today, but when I got word of this LaToya Ali live, okay, that she did with her soon-to-be ex-husband, Adam, I was like, oh, baby, okay, we got to talk about this. She is supposed to be the new girl on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and this right here is definitely made for TV, okay? The girls are fighting, and it's getting crazy. So if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and let's get straight into the video. Wow, um, I'm just like in awe right now. Like, I just can't believe that these people are on Instagram Live acting like this, okay? And it's made for TV. I'm super excited, okay, that Latoya Ali, AKA Latoya Forever from YouTube, is joining season 13 Real Housewives of Atlanta because this drama is just too good not to be televised, okay? The revolution is being televised, but before it's televised, bitch, we got to see it on IG Live first. With that being said, the new girl is getting a divorce from her husband, and um, of course, I've been dropping hints, I've been dropping tidbits, I've been dropping news every other day about their relationship. A lot of people saying that it's fake, um, that it's for YouTube, that it's for Real Housewives, that it's for a storyline. And they have came out and said, no, bitch, okay, this is not for a storyline. This is our real life. Well, the crazy thing about it is LaToya went on to IG Live last night and... Uh, it was just a lot, okay? She had an explosive conversation, a fight with her soon-to-be ex-husband, um, Adam. Now, you're probably wondering, why are they getting a divorce? They have three beautiful children together. They've been married for a couple of years now, and LaToya wants to get a divorce because she just doesn't feel the affection from Adam. She doesn't feel the love connection. She feels like she doesn't ever get romance. And so she wants a divorce. Well, you guys, LaToya went live. So let me set the stage before I show the clip. First things first, she was sitting there, okay, in front of her vanity, um, doing her makeup, and she was just talking, just talking candidly to her fans. She first started talking about um, how the divorce is not fake, okay? They've really been on this campaign, both LaToya and Adam, to go out of their way to let their followers know that their divorce, okay, their breakup is not fake. And uh, that's when Adam, okay, I believe he came up to the room. He wanted to ask LaToya a question. LaToya, while on IG Live, said, hey, Adam, do you want to say hey to the people? And Adam was like, sure. And y'all, after that, all hell broke loose. Oh my God, it's a mess. Check this clip out. This is awkward. Why do you have me on here? Is it awkward? Hell yeah, it is. Why? At the end of the day, they know, they know the truth. What's the truth? They know the truth. You can't fake energy. You can't fake it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they know who, who the problem maker. But... What they do know is you're not affectionate. In all the vlogs, you don't show me love, right? And the only time you ever want to romance me is when the children are involved. When's the last time you romanced me? When the children? Okay, the only romantic thing what you did for me... This is not the platform for this. The only romantic... What is the point of all of this? Yeah, the only time you were ever romantic for me is the gender reveal for Aya. I took it kind of... Woke man, don't leave good woman. That's all I have to say. Did y'all just watch the same foolishness that I watched? Like, what? Who? What? Why? Why? Why did that just happen? Why? I'm just so confused. It was so funny to me because number one, it looked fake, okay? I'm not gonna even lie because I know how YouTubers are. I know how YouTube couples operate. It looked fake, okay? It looked like one of them. Y'all know how couples um, on YouTube, they do prank videos and everything just looks super staged and super set up and super scripted. It kind of seemed like one of those moments, especially when uh, Adam said, this is awkward, why do you have me on here? Like the way he just said that just seemed so, uh, you know, just fake. And I was just like, well, yeah, this is awkward because y'all setting this scene up. Okay, y'all setting this up for the housewives. No, I'm playing. I, it could be real, I don't know. But it just seemed like, fake to me okay they go on they keep talking they're talking about you can't fake energy and obviously like they're 
on two different pages. She's on chapter one and he's chapter 23. Like they're not on the same page at all to where they can sit on an Instagram live and be cordial. Like it's just weird. All of a sudden y'all, Latoya starts going in on Adam. And when it came to this part of the live, I was like, ooh, okay, time to get some popcorn. I'm just sitting back, you know, eating my popcorn. Tell her how you really feel, Marlo. Like, Latoya, tell Adam how you really feel. She said, um, the reason why we're not together, okay, is because you're not affectionate, okay? And that's why I say that this seemed fake because it came out of nowhere, okay? It came out of left field. It was really no reason to go there latoya it was no reason she just out of the blue came out and was like the reason why we're not together is because you're not affectionate okay the reason why we're not together is because you don't show me no love and when you do show me love it's only because the kids are involved and he looking at her like girl what is you doing like what is you doing you really trying to put on for the instagrams right now you really trying to put on for the followers right now and I don't appreciate it and I'm on Adam's uh, side when it comes to this like girl you really trying to show out for these cameras and you're really trying to air out our dirty laundry right now okay but number one I wasn't prepared for this number two I didn't sign off for this okay where's the media release number three girl I just came up here to say hey and ask you a question it just turned into something that it really shouldn't have and if you guys just so happen to read the comments okay during the IG live um the commenters were upset okay they were not happy uh that adam and latoya were going back and forth they were telling adam adam baby just leave the room okay adam we don't need you here girl uh just just leave okay because at this point this okay this right here is not what's up now i was really shocked and this is when i have to jump ship okay and go to team latoya i was really shocked that adam uttered the words woke men don't leave good women in the middle of their argument in the heat of the moment he said woke men don't leave good women okay so i am assuming that he considers himself to be a woke man whatever that means okay apparently they don't leave good women and of course they're in the middle of a divorce which means that they're leaving each other which basically means that he's saying latoya ain't a good woman now that I have an issue with because if you are going to make a bold, very not nice statement, okay, about your wife that you are currently divorcing, then you're going to have to come up with some actuals and factuals. Where are the receipts? Give us the evidence. Story time, okay? I know you guys are YouTubers and you guys love to do story times. I know LaToya loves to do a story time. Give us a story time when LaToya wasn't a good woman, okay? Let us know, Adam. Let us know how you really feel, Marlo, okay? So just a mess. The whole thing is a mess. Um, I was just shocked that they put this... Actually, no, I'm not shocked. YouTubers, they're ruthless. They're relentless. They're restless. They will go out of their way to put all of their business on Front Street because, honestly, drama sells. And that's just what it is. You guys know how they say sex sells. In the YouTube world, drama sells. And the thing about Real Housewives of Atlanta is that drama sells on television, too. Okay? And so the fact that she can bring her YouTube life to the bravo television screen i think is going to be a really good fit even though i feel like it's a little bit contrived even though i feel like it's just a bit you know like they put it on for the camera i do feel like it's going to be interesting word on the curb is y'all remember when i said that adam didn't want to be on the show and he did not want the kids to be on the show well i heard from some sources that um he's going to appear on the show Okay, and we kind of knew this already because Adam Latoya, Candy, and Todd went on a double date and they dubbed it to be couples therapy. So I'm gonna wrap it up right here. I want to know what you guys think about the entire situation. How do you feel about the line woke men don't leave good women? Have y'all ever heard of that? Adam and woke in the same sentence? I don't see it. Okay, how uh, Nini say Phaedra and Fabulosity? Mm -mm. okay you can't put those two together so i guess we're just gonna have to see how everything plays out for season 13 all right so definitely let your opinions be heard in the comments down below if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already and i will be back a little later with an all-new video love you guys don't forget to create a great day bye Mwah.